So um, we're gonna do a full body class today. I hope someone is taking this class after. I woke up with my back very sore, so I'm gonna try to move in a way to help to release the limbs and time to work the whole body. Let's start here right now in all fours position. Just to start mobilizing the spine to flexion and extension. So we're gonna tuck the pelvis, pulling the navel in, pressing the top of the feet to the floor. Rounding the back, feeling the back stretch. Inhale, opening the chest, extending the spine, looking up. Exhale, let's round again. Now I we are rounded here. Do a gentle rock back and forward. Center, inhaling, opening again the chest. Shoulders back. I like a lot when we are having this extension to shift the hip from one side to the other. That helps to stretch the front and the side of the abdominals too. Neutral and rock again. Top. Pressing again the top of the feet to the floor. Rock back. And forward. Extension. Side to side. Now let's just stop in neutral, so we are between both. Trying to keep the abdominals firm, the spine neutral. I'm going to extend my right leg first and lift. It's important that when we lift, we don't arch the back. So keeping the abdominal firm. I'm going to tuck the knee towards the forehead. Same idea that before. Inhale, stand back. And up. Again. Tuck. Inhale, out and up. Last one. First, I extend to the neutrality. In the end, I arch the back, lifting the leg a little higher. Tuck the knee in. Still on the same leg, but I'm going to bring my left forearm down. Right, so I'm working for the right leg, and I'm putting the left arm down. It's the opposite side. The right side is to the hand. I'm going to turn the hip towards the camera. Now keep pushing the floor away. Don't let the body be sinking low. Abdominal firm. I'm going to tuck this knee to the chest and circle back. To the chest. Out and circle. Two more. Focus on the head of the femur bone moving inside the hip socket. Last reverse. Back, turn out, circle back towards the chest, together with the other one, and back. Two more. You see how the lower back movement is minimal. And together. Bring both knees down. Shoulders gonna flex under, push back in the child's pose. Try to keep a very active position here. The hands are pushing back. Forehead down. Take a deep breath in and out here. We're gonna come up again. Same thing on the other side. So first, abdominals firm. Extend the left leg and lift for now in neutral. In this first moment, we are trying to don't rock, don't turn. Keep the hips square down. Three times, tuck the knee to the forehead, round in the back, just like we did in the first one. Inhale back, elongating the spine. We pass to this neutral position to continue to the extension, leg up, head up. Two more, round first, inhale back and up, last one.
Just bring the foot down. Now is the right elbow down. It's the opposite of the leg we're working with. We're gonna turn my back towards the leg that I'm working my left. Bend the knee to the chest and start to circle the knee to the chest. Out and around. Firm abdominal to the chest. Out and around. And try to bring this knee all the way towards the center. Bring together with the other one. And circle. Last one. It's important that the upper body is very active. Don't let the body sink into the shoulder. Let's reverse. Press back. Lift. Turn out and circle up. Three more. Two. Last one. Feet together, we're going to separate the knees for this one. Toes pointed, and we're going to bring chest down. Keep the booty up first. If you can, put your chain on the floor. If not, forehead. Forehead might feel a little easier in this one. And we're going to keep it this child's pose, but now the neutral one, all the way back. Bring both the hands to the right, just one step. Left hand goes on top and push. Push the hips back. Both hands to the left side, so the right goes on top. Stretch. We're going to come back to center. Now let's go to the front position, stomach down. Usually this position helps to release my lower back a lot. So I'm going to start with this. I'm going to do what I usually don't do. That is to turn my big toes in and my heels out. So the legs are internally rotated. This helps to create some space on the lower back. And that's what you're looking for now. So just kind of wiggle in the hip, move up a little bit. Let the, the lower back sink on the floor more. Great. So now we're going to do some shoulder work. We're going to keep the legs like that. If you need to separate them a little bit, you can do it. However feels good for you here. So just the upper back. First thing, just let the chest sink down between the shoulders. They relax. After that, the head goes. Try to bring the crown of the head towards the floor. Should feel some stretch here on the back. On the return to lift, I'm going to push my upper back up, separating the shoulder blades. I send the back of the neck up. And I look forward past. Press the elbows down and imagine you're dragging the elbows to you to increase the abdominal stretch. We're gonna go down again. Elbows are right under the shoulders. Let the shoulders go towards each other so the chest is going down. Head goes down. Lift the back. Separating the shoulder blades, neck, head, press the elbows down, stretch. Two more, shoulders, head, lift the shoulders, neck, and head. Last one, you want to turn the feet to parallel position, shoulders, and head. Lift your shoulders, neck and head. Now the next activation that we're looking for is for the abdomen. So first I'm just going to let the belly be soft. The ribs are flaring a little bit. 
And I'm gonna exhale, pull the ribs together and pull the navel in. Activate the core. Inhale, relax. Exhale, pull the ribs together and the stomach in. Engage. Relax, slowly. Two more. Ribs, belly, and engage tight. Pressing the thighs to the floor. Release, last one. Ribs, navel, tight. You're gonna keep like that now. Flex the toes under. I'm gonna take just the hips off the floor as well. Still with the knees now. And take the knees up. Knees up. Hip down. Let's do two more of those. Engage the stomach first. Lift the hip. Lift the knees up the whole foot. Lower the knees. And lower the hip. Open chest. Last one. Engage the core. Ribs close the navel in. Lift the hip. Keep your thighs. And lift the knees. We stand and drop back and forward without letting the hip bite. Three, two, and one. Knees down, hip down, lower the chest for a second, open the arms out. Just rock the hip a little bit. We're going to do one more plank variation here. Again, on the forearms, we're just going to change the position of the forearms. We're going to put them together like a genie. Forearms together, same principle to start. Engage the core. Lift the hip. Lift the knees. We're going to turn to a side plank. Hold. We're gonna lower the hip and lift for three. And two. Last one. Turn again to regular plank. Establish the position, stabilize your body. Turn to the other side. Hip down up three. Two. One. Plank. Again, open, down and up, three, two, one, rotate neutral, open to the other side, three, two, and one, come back to where we're playing, we're going to lower the knees first so with control, the hip, Separate the hands as wide as the mat and press. Lift into a full cobra. From here, we're going to connect to the swan dive. So inhale up here. When we exhale, we're going to rock forward, opening the arms. So that's how we're going to look like. And inhale, move up again. Three more. Exhale forward. Inhale up. Hold one, two, two more. Last one. Come all the way down and push the body back to your child's pose. Releasing the air to expand the lower back. Okay. 
quick bend in all fours, just like in the beginning. We're gonna do the trend and needle to add a little rotation for the spine, helping to stretch. So I'm gonna take the right arm out, turn the palm to face up, so the thumb is pointing back, up towards the ceiling. Three poses back. All the way through thread the needle. One more time, the same side. Up for the C. Three, two, one. All the way through. These other hands is always pushing the floor away. Helping to increase the rotation. Try to keep the feet hip width apart. <coughs> Return. <coughs> Sorry. Left to arm out. Turn the palm to face up three times. <sighs> All the way through. So the palm is facing up. This other hand is pushing the floor, helping to increase the rotation. And also have a sensation that you're lifting off the floor. Again, out. Remember to turn the palm to face up. Three, two, Oh, one and then go all the way through again. Mm -hmm. Perfect, and return. We're gonna do, uh, lay on the side. We can beat the side, we're gonna lay down first. Um, would be easy if we laid up on the same side just for um, directions. So I move my left side and my left leg. Actually, I'm gonna bend my right leg, the top one. I'm gonna use this ball for support. In case you don't have a ball, you can use a tissue roller or a towel or a pillow, something just to elevate this knee a little bit. Now I'm gonna take the foot off the floor just to be in the same line of this knee, looking forward. And from here, I'm gonna keep you rotating. So without moving the point of support, so my ball, but if it is a pillow or whatever it is, it's okay. Without moving that, I'm gonna try lift the foot up. So what is my, my leg doing? My internal rotation here, from the hip. The base leg it is straight. Try to keep your head in line with the shoulder. So avoid to build the head forward. Look at yourself. Put the head. Let the leg do the maximum rotation it is possible. And slowly with control. Keeping the knee point stable. Bring the foot down again. Two more. Up. Even though I am moving just my leg, I'm already aware about my core and I am pulling the stomach in. Keep the abdominal wall firm, stabilizing the spine and the lower back. One more. Now keep. And just press the knee point down. Helps to unlock the lower back. Great. Now let's just try to keep this foot in line with the knee. Reach the arm on the both arms forward. If you need more support for your head, feel free to put a pillow on your ear or a yoga vlog, something like that. Hands together, fingertips together. I'm going to reach my top arm, passing the bottom arm. And circle overhead. I'm gonna be looking to my hands the whole time. 
back to my hip all the way forward reach again should be passing the other arm up overhead you should be able to see your fingertips reach always trying to make this arm reach to increase the spine mobility too again forward so when i reach i have a little round of the upper back up and around engage the side body on this lift hands together we're going to do the same arm reverse in direction reach first on the floor over the hip all the way back remember that you need to see your fingertips circling the head with the arm two more last one it's very gentle we don't we barely realize but we are moving the cervical spine the neck we are activating those muscles around the neck some of the side body getting mobility to the upper back with exercise is great stop it here lift the foot again if you prefer you can have support for the head again now a little poses down with the knee and we need to create an opposition here while you're pressing this knee, this knee down we're trying to lift the waist off the floor to keep the spine neutral press the knee lift the ribs two one lower the leg great since we're gonna turn to the other side we just want to do one thing in the middle place the ball pillow top whatever you have right now right on the ribs stomach area the upper belly under the chest all these and we're going to bring the hands together, put the forehead on the knee. We are allowing this support to naturally bend and round our upper back, mid upper back connection. And obligated us to breathe more on the sides and on the back. We're going to lift. Everything as one unit, the hands with the forehead, chest, open the arms out, interlace the fingers behind, reach and lift you up. I'm going to circle the arms forward, bring the hands to the forehead, lower everything down together. Two more. Exhale, lift. Pressing the feet down. Open the arms out. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Turn the palms to face up. Bring the hands together. To right and left. Now circle the arms all the way forward. Beside the ears. Bend the elbows. The hands to the forehead. Lower down. Last one. And exhale, lift. Squeeze the shoulder blades, open the arms out. Turn the palms to face up. Release the fingers behind. Reach. Open, circle the arms all the way overhead. Bend the elbows. And come all the way down. We're going to push up to all fours. Let's do three times here the cat cow. Softening the back and forth. Such a difference from the beginning of the class when we did this to right now. I mentioned that I was with my back sore. 
feel way more easy and ready. Last one. Neutral. Let's flex the toes under. Abdominals firm. Lift both knees. Breathe three. Two. And go up and back in a downward dog. Try keep the hands and the feet exactly where they are. Knees can always be slightly bent in. Our focus it is to lengthen the spine more than the legs. Yeah. Let the shoulder blades be soft so we can have more, more space, let's say like that, for the neck to release. And then they go in. I like here to push one heel down at a time, increasing the stretch on the side. Try to do that without about the hip. So legs are moving, the feet is more stable. Both heels down. High heels, shift the weight forward. Bend down to all fours. Stretch in child's pose. Perfect. We're gonna now turn to the other side to do the same side work. Base leg straight, bottom leg. Oh, sorry, top leg bent. Align here knee with the hip. Get the support. Remember to don't be looking to yourself. Look forward. Align head with shoulders. This other hand can be on the floor for some support. We're going to start with the mobility of the hip socket. We inter internal rotation here with the leg. So my knee, do a gentle pressure down to stabilize this ball. And I'm going to do rotation. The chain of the foot, the lift. Try here, don't let the waist completely be sinking down. So that's why we engage the core. Pull the belly in. Try to get the side body engaged just a little bit, like we're trying to lift off the floor. And down. Three more. Last two. Just one more. Holding this on just a little longer. Press the ball down a little bit. And return. We're gonna keep now the foot in the air to be in line with the knee. Extend both arms forward. Remember, you have the option to put a pillow under the head. The top arm now needs to reach past the other arm. Make the upper back around it, separating the shoulder blades. Inhale, arm go overhead. You make sure that you fall with your eyes. You should be looking to the fingertips the whole time. Lift and get the side by a little bit. Reach forward again. Passing the other arm. Inhale, up overhead and around. You see how I get my chest involved in this rotation. Very important. Last one. Reverse. To the hip, look. Look with the neck, you don't look just with the abs. Up and around. Two more. Last one. Relax the head. 
O last one here with the knee. I'm going to lift the shoulder for the gap. Little pose, pressing down. Abdominal wall firm, weight is lifted. So imagine you're trying to put a finger under the weight. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the foot down. We're gonna flip to our back. We're not gonna use this ball anymore for today. Let the spine sink heavy here. Arms long by the side. Let's start with the legs hip width apart, parallel. I'm gonna rock my pelvis back. So that's when I push the lower back to the floor. I'm gonna keep rolling, lifting to break. If the lower back is sore like I feel mine, don't increase the lift too much because you need more those lower back muscles. Arms go up and back, all the way overhead. Arms stay, articulate the spine down. Neutral, bring the arms back. We're gonna do just two more. Tuck and roll up. Arms go back. Here, turn the hip to the right. See how I am turning the hip, but not the knees. And this stay pointing straight ahead. Articulate the spine and to the back of the right side. So the spine is not actually touching the floor yet. I'm gonna roll up, still just on this right side. Hip press in center, hip go to the other side. Not the knees, just the hip. Articulate the left back on the floor. Articulate back up. Center and articulate down. Arms back beside the body. Take one leg at a time up to tabletop. Do a deep breath in to prepare. And exhale, draw the navel in. Curl head, neck and shoulders up. Extend the legs. Legs are parallel first. Pump in the arms. We're going to keep it pumping the arms. We're going to be changing the leg position. Turn up. Turn parallel. Turn the legs in. Parallel. And out. And breathe in, breathe out. Parallel. Turn in. Parallel. Bend the knees to the chest. Hug it tight. Rock side to side, massage on the back. Arms come between the legs, hold the shins or the knees and just open out to the side. Stretching the inner tight too. Let the back be heavy, hip very heavy. The natural weight of the arms are pulling the knees down naturally too. Mm. Close the legs. I'm going to do the last two things here. Pushing it to the top of the mat so I can fully extend the legs. I'm going to take the right leg up towards the ceiling. Foot flex. Let's do this first. 
Inhale, go slowly down. Don't let the, the pelvis rock. Exhale, kick up. Two more. Slowly down. Inhale, arms down. Exhale, kick. Last one. Keep up, stay. Toes pointed. Single leg circle across the body. So that means the right hips coming off. Down around. Pause. Two more this direction. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, level in circle. Last walk. Bend the knee up. Same leg, opposite way. And stand up, point the toes. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, compress the abdominal wall in and up. Out, left hip doesn't move. Down around. Across the leg line. Hold. Two more. Lower this leg all the way down. Left side. You're gonna kick the leg up two times. Kick. Inhale down. Two. Last one. Point the foot. Exhale across the back, down and around. This right hip do not move at all. Reverse. Lower this left leg all the way back. Arms up to the ceiling. Reach. Curl head, neck and shoulders up. Roll up. Reach forward. Three, two, one, and stay. Head happy. Bend, pull it in and up. Trying to elongate from the lower back. We're going to stack this one up. And we are all done for today. I hope you can have fun and enjoy this class.